So we have with us um, on the show, Mr. Rohitash Gupta, the CFO of the company. Uh, Rohitash, thanks so much for joining in. Good morning. You know, Q4, so good revenue growth sequentially. But if I have to dissect it down, um, top 10 client weakness did continue. So what are the key takeaways for the quarter gone by? You are right that uh, Q4 was a very, very strong revenue quarter for us. Uh, probably the highest sequential growth in last three, four years. And this was driven by one of factors uh, of increased demand, especially in the creative services projects. And we think that that uh, demand being short term will taper off in Q1. Uh, on the margin front, uh, this year as a whole was very, very soft. We saw decline in all the margin metrics. And that was primarily led by our investments in the onshore services uh, capability build out, uh, as well as consulting. And that shift, uh, I think, is very visible now. We have almost quarter of our revenue, which is coming from onshore, uh, as well as managed services, which is uh, the strategic direction we have taken for future uh, setup for growth. You know, you saw quite a challenging fiscal 18. So how do you see this top 10 client bracket growing versus emerging clients this year? So if you put FY18 in context of last, uh, you know, two, three years, we have, we have been seeing a little bit of decline in revenues in last two, three years. Only FY18, we have seen a bit of modest growth of about two, three percent in dollar or uh, constant currency terms. And we think the trajectory from here on to FY19 will be, you know, much more positive than that modest growth. Also, in the last fiscal, you've done better in Europe than US. So, will that uh, trend continue this year too? And what, are the, what is the traction you're witnessing across key verticals like financial services, cable, tele telecom and even digital? Uh, frankly, the Europe uh, growth, as I explained earlier, was uh, largely driven by short-term projects in the creative services, uh, which is largely Europe-driven. We still feel that Americas will be, or especially US, will be the largest growth driver uh, in FY19 onwards. Okay. Uh, what does the order book read look like? And tell us what's in the pipeline. So, uh, across last, uh, I would say, five quarters, our YOY pipeline has increased uh, by more than 50% from where it was. And that trend has been very encouraging, which, which basically tells us that uh, going into FY19 also, we will see a upward momentum in new sales. The challenge for us in last two, three years has been the roll-offs or the decline in revenues in the older accounts that we have seen. And that also we think to a large degree is now a thing of past. Uh, the last large roll-off that we have seen was actually in Q1 or of FY18. Uh, so, so I think to the extent we can stem the negative, the positive will start showing up in FY19. Okay, and finally, Rohitash, you know, analysts are penciling in about a 10% dollar revenue growth for you in FY19. This versus just 2% in FY18. So what would you like to guide compared to industry growth estimates this year? So I would refrain from giving any numbers, but as I said, you know, 2% is the growth that we achieved in FY18, which is very modest by any standards. But in the context of negative growth in the prior years, I would say this is a good uh, good positive sign. And we uh, we obviously are seeing, you know, um, a much better uh, percentage growth in, in FI19 and onwards than what we have achieved in FI18. Okay, uh, Rohitash, thanks so much then for joining us uh, on ET Now, helping uh, viewers understand what exactly went by for the quarter for you.